Alrighty, hey everybody, it's Anomalous Warfare. Welcome back to another Cyanide Happiness. Uh, I found out there's only one part of this game so far, and I didn't even beat that, so my goal is to finish that today. Uh, I'm only using my mouse right now, so if everything takes a little bit longer for me to do, I apologize. I really... I enjoy the way this game's set up. The story and dialogue parts of it are a bit... Uh, bland I suppose but I mean it is the intro the only intro I've really liked was Fallout 4's and that got old quick oh yeah we're back in. I need my keyboard I completely forgot about that I'll just go off my computer itself I am feeling peckish sir so what's it like wearing a chicken outfit all day long eh beats being in high school <laughs> I legitimately can't argue with that. Fair. Um. Oh yeah, I want the costume. To score a costume like that. Normally, you'd need to become a full-time employee here, but if you'd be willing to help me out, I can score one for you. I guess that depends on the favor. Well, I just got a delivery order, and that's great. But research has shown that every time I step away to make a delivery, instead of standing here doing my sign twirling routine, we lose customers. <laughs> Are you gaining so any? I need you to deliver this mother clucking chicken order and have the customer sign the credit card receipt. That's it? Yep. Just bring that signed receipt back to me and I'll get you a mother clucking costume. Do we have a deal? Sure. Yeah. I can swing that. I want Great. the chicken. Here's the chicken and the credit card receipt. Just take it to the pink house located on Knothole Street. Knock on the door, make sure they sign that receipt, then bring it back to me. Okay, got it. Good luck, mother clucker. <laughs> oh, new chore. Couldn't I just eat the chicken myself? Sure is lonely being... Hey, it's that stupid kid everyone hates. What a loser. Okay. Lemonade. A lemonade stand? How quaintly Americana. That's the heart of our business down here at Lemonade's lemon-flavored lemon-type drinks. We serve the finest sweet and country-style lemon-type drink plucked right from my parents' own lemon tree, God bless them. We pride ourselves on customer satisfaction here, and that's why when you drink Lemonade's lemon-flavored lemon-type drinks, you'll say, damn, that's pretty close to lemonade. <laughs> well, just me, unless you want a job. You're hired, but I can only pay you in lemons. Also, I'm out of lemons. Uh, no thanks. Meh. Yeah. One glass, please. Great. But, uh, we don't have any in stock currently. You don't have any lemonade in stock at your lemonade stand. Then why are you here? Networking. Oh. You see, business has been so slow that all our lemons went bad. I guess you could say that all of our lemons were lemons. We're waiting on a new bushel to grow, but we're confident that our next batch will be twice as lemonade-like as the last. And boy, are you in luck. We're taking pre-orders for the next batch now. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to miss out. Pre-ordered lemonade? Sounds shady. Country style lemonade type drink. And speaking of shady, all pre orders come with a free cocktail umbrella. Ooh, I'm in. One. <laughs> Why uh, not? Pre ordered glass of lemonade. Please. Do I have to pay though? Great. That'll be 25 cents. A dollar 25 if you'd like the commemorative lemonade pint glass. The extra dollar is just a deposit and you get 75 cents of it back when you come back to get it filled. What purpose does that serve? It's just to complicate the transaction, really. Well, let me uncomplicate this transaction. You can put my lemonade on layaway and I'll take a pre-order receipt. But I'd like my umbrella now, if you don't mind. Oh, no. That'll be shipped when pre-orders close. Can I just have that one? Mm, no. This is just the display. You really made this as complicated as you possibly could, didn't you? <laughs> That's business for you. Oh, Fair. and no refunds. Okay, well, I gotta go. Sounds good. And remember, at Lemon Abe's, we're always glad you came. <laughs> uh. Alright, I have a Hello. feeling he's not gonna talk to me. Let me stop you right there. And leave. Yep. What about you, questioning Salutations sir? Salutations there, good. Uh, I'm not legally allowed to be this close to children. <laughs> Dear God. Alright, trash there can. Is that isn't crying on the inside? Hey, new outfit. Oh, that was saddening. 
Umbrella guy. I want to steal your umbrella if I can't talk Sorry to you. Sorry to bother you, but I'm trying to find my way to the... I don't care! Off he goes into the distance. Would you mind telling me... Just leave me alone, kid. I have a feeling he's going to stop me from Excuse getting home. Me. Just trying to get past. Halt, citizen. Please remain at least three feet away from me while you give me your spare change. Otherwise, I am legally obligated to inform you I will bite. P.S. Got any spare change? No. I'm really just looking to get by. How about five bucks? I'll contort to any shape you want for the minimum donation of five U.S. dollars. Sorry, I stopped carrying cash after I was mugged for 12 years straight by the bullies at my school. You're kind of a bummer, aren't you, kid? Uh... Take it easy, Strat. Come back when you act. I have a feeling I need money now. I can talk to Don't the... Don't you ever cross me, uh, bro. thought I was gonna talk to the stop sign. Hey there, Dr. Scoops. Got anything good for a hot day like this? And how? Step up to the cone zone. I could fetch you a scoop of our delicious ice poutine. Or perhaps I could prescribe you a dose of our blumpkin spice. What do you say, Mr... Coop. You can call me Coop. Coop? <laughs> that rhymes with scoop. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Mr. Coop. Cool. Does that mean we're friends? I'm friends with every paying customer. So what'll it be? <laughs> I'm not really feeling those flavors. Well, there's plenty more where they came from. Dr. Scoops can always scoop something up. We've got a special on sour green road apple. Care for a scoop, Coop? Not my first choice of flavors. I'm uh, sure. Ooh. No. It's cold to the touch. Fascinating. No, the obvious ants traveling down. All right, you might have hey, a man, chore. Man. I got a package you can deliver. Why, of course, son. Just stamp it, address it, and drop it in the mailbox. That's what us mail folk do. Ah, I guess that joke was too subtle for him. I want a free can stamp. Can I have a free stamp? No way, kid. Giving you a stamp for free is a federal offense. I don't want to <laughs> risk losing my job. I love my job almost as much as I hate dogs. <laughs> Why do dogs hate you? Maybe it's because I run a dog fighting ring out of my house and they can smell the inhumanity. Well, I gotta go. Have fun destroying people's mail. Ruining the mail of others is one of the greatest perks of this job. Hmm. Ah, uh, isn't what this up, the old dog? dog that talked? Ah, uh, no. Dang. Nice day out here, isn't it? How the hell should I? <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> Man, Interesting. You'll never take me alive, copper. Now, how does that get me anything? Ouch, a bunch of paper cuts. Now I look like that bloody version of Jesus. I like how I'm looking for outfits, and I just press two things, and that's all it took. Boom. Oof. Dang. Professional robber. I want to touch it. If I want to be electrocuted, I'd shove a butter knife in the toaster again. Jesus. Jesus? Are you <laughs> totally not intentional. Let's see where to go. Where to go? Can I go back there? I could totally climb this pole, but I left my climbing. Ah, okay. There's a lot of interactables. Not the best fire hydrant I've ever touched, but it's a solid B+. Now my hands smell like dog piss. The truck. Whoops, I scratched it. Maybe if I just rub it a little? <laughs> That's much worse. I better go. <laughs> Alright. Road closed again, so do I have to go in here? Oh, very fancy. He's a dish. Hi there. Welcome to our telepathy. In our fine establishment, we monitor your brain waves and serve you a dish from your deepest design. Oh, I remember this. I'd like to make an order. Oh, apologies, sir, but we don't serve friendship here. <laughs> I'm starving. Can I order something for my deepest desires? Oh, I'm very sorry, sir, but we're a restaurant. We can't make you a hero here, sir. Only you can do such a thing. 
Hmm, and by the looks of you, that's quite unlikely. Not serving me is discrimination or racist or something, I bet. Apologies, sir, but we serve based on our customers' deepest desires. And I'm afraid we can't grow you a giant beard. Hmm. Is there anything your kitchen can serve me? Little, sir, our kitchen is ill-equipped to prepare you a prom date. Damn it! <laughs> Excuse me. Tiny monsieur, if you're applying to be busboy around here, I'm afraid we're not currently hiring children who can't even lift a baguette. I could totally lift a baguette. Would you care to put a wager on that, sir? I, uh, I'm above your silly trials. Besides, I lifted three dinner rolls just the other day. Grandma took my picture. Most impressive, sir. But don't touch the dishes. Hmm. Off I go. I want the cake. I dare not. Playing touch and go with a taco. That's a, okay, I didn't think that'd be a taco. Don't worry, baby. I'll pick up the ticket. Oh my god, they're eating a baby. If I do, its mother might not take it back. <laughs> nah, it's one of those swinging doors, and I'll probably just get trampled by a waiter if I go in there. I wonder... Where is it? Is this it? Nope, that's not gonna do- Okay. Boom. Like my teacher says, that's wrong, Coop, and let's address that hygiene issue. Then why would I- I don't know. Why would I need the ticket? Hmm. Boop. Hmm. There's got to be something. Oh, I never talked to these people. What you protesting? It's more like what aren't we protesting? For starters, the pollution in this town has become overwhelming. I wouldn't even describe the air as a gas. It's almost like a solid. It is kind of weird that you can chew the air here. Exactly. Do you really think this protest is accomplishing anything? How else are we going to call attention to how underfunded the school and entire town are, yet a small percent of the population seems to be doing extremely well? Like who? How about your own Principal McNally, for starters? He seems to be living a nice, cushy lifestyle these days. That's true. His chair probably costs more than my parents' funeral. Explain to me how teachers have to buy their own classroom supplies, yet he gets to enjoy luxuries like fancy chairs. I guess I can't. Neither can we, so that's why we organize and protest. Can I join in with your protest? The marching and yelling looks kind of fun. Absolutely not! Why not? We're also protesting other protesters. <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, I gotta go. Hey Coop, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just rubbing my hands on the street in the middle of the internet. Yeah. Alright, I don't think they have anything to do. We'll just head up this way. Bird. That was a good use of my time. Hmm. Ah, shark dead. Oh yeah, I already tried that. Huh. This way. Oh! Ah, shit! Well, 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 look who it is! Put me down! Leave me alone! Uh, at least you brought us some pizza. Come on, guys, that's my lunch! And dinner! Relax, Pipsqueak. We saved you some. Extra, extra, read all about it. Today's top story, you fuckers are douchebags. Hey, these claims are unsubstantiated. Don't you have anything better to do than push around, Coop? Oh, bite it, Sawyer. Just get out of the way so I can kick the shit out of this shrimp. Kick the shit out of him, huh? You mean like the time you kicked the shit out of your pant leg, Chet? Uh, you did what? Babe, babe, no, I was sick You're and- You're fucking gross! Oh my god, I have to go shower? It was Ew. just a little nugget. Oh, don't oh, touch babe, me! Oh, babe, don't be 
like that? What the f- Well...